Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I really need to go through all of my primers. I realized I had too many when I could no longer close this drawer in like my acrylic case and I really don't need this many primers because I've been panning a primer for one of my hashtag drop 10 by summer items and it's literally taken me weeks and weeks and weeks just to use one primer and I've been using that every day. So I just really need to go through all of these primers. My goal is to have them fit just at least in one of these two drawers. <laughs> So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like declutter. I'll go ahead and throw my declutter playlist up in the cards and down in the description box below if you want to check out the rest of my declutters. And don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there so you can see the rest of my videos as they come out. Okay, so I just realized that my air conditioning was on for the first part of the video. I am sorry about that. It is off now. So let's go ahead and jump into the primer drawer. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so this is one right away I can get rid of is the YSL Touche Claw Blur Primer. I've pretty much finished this. I used it in my almost full face of YSL video. I love this primer. I know at some point I will buy a full size because I absolutely love it, but at this point, as you can see, I have plenty of primer and I really don't need to be holding on to an empty one or buying any more for that matter. So these two are both fairly brand new, not even open, so I'm going to pass them along to either some of my family or my friends. They're both from the Ulta Beauty line. One is the Poreless Face Primer and the other one is the Mattifying Face Primer. These are a good size for like traveling, which is what I thought. I got them in like a kit when I bought a couple of other Ulta products. But honestly, like I'm planning to go on a trip in a couple of weeks and I'm probably just going to take another one of the small samples that I have here. So I really don't need to hold on to these, especially when they're still like brand new, like they still haven't even been like opened at all. So while they're this new, I should just go ahead and pass them along to someone I know is going to use them and not just hoard them in my drawer that won't even close. This is a primer that doesn't really work that well for me and it took me a while to realize that it's just this primer doesn't work well with my skin. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. I bought this when I bought the Stay Matte like mousse foundation and I really didn't like that foundation either. And I'm not reached for this in the longest time. I have other mattifying primers that I really like and it's actually really big. It takes up a lot of room in my drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along as well. So I have two minis and then a full size of the same primer. These are all the Cover FX mattifying primer. This is one of my favorite primers of all time, legitimately all time. So since I have both of these mini ones open, I'm gonna go ahead and add those to my everyday makeup basket for this upcoming month. So I can just go ahead and work my way through those two. And then I'm going to keep the regular, this isn't the full size, this is like the, the mini size. This is what a full size cover effects looks like. And then this is what the mini size looks like. So I'll just keep this one in my drawer. Speaking of cover effects, this is their full size of the blurring primer. I got this in a boxy charm. I actually really like this primer. The one thing I realized is that I don't know if it's just like this product or the brand. The tubes definitely aren't full when you get them full size. Like if I were to squeeze it down, like it feels like there isn't product until right there. And I've only used this a couple of times, like enough to realize that I like it, but it's not like, you know, weeks of use or anything. Um, but I will be holding on to this one because I do like it and it is a full size product. I have two of the same primer from Burberry. This is the Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. I do like this primer, but this is one of those products where like I got a little sample like this and I loved it and I tried it out and then I went and bought the full size and the full size is definitely different from the sample. I really can't put my finger on what it is, but it just, it's a little bit different. So I do like keeping the samples around. Um, I've been hoarding this one because I just, I don't know what it is. Like I just like the samples a lot better of this product, which is a shame because this was fairly expensive when I bought it. But it's still, it's a nice primer. I do enjoy using it from time to time with certain foundations. So I will hold on to the full size. And then I believe this is the primer I'm going to bring with me when I have to go on my trip in a couple of weeks. I have two little mini samples from Smashbox. I think this was like a 500 point perk from Sephora. It was like a box of these little sample things. I have the Photo Finish Primer Riser right here, which is about halfway empty. And then I have the Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. 
I never reach for an under eye primer, honestly. Like, it's just an extra step, especially when I have fine lines under there and whatnot. So I'm going to pass this one along. It's also never been opened or used, so someone can get a lot of good use out of this guy. And this one, since I've used half of it, I really just need to finish it up because it's such a tiny, tiny amount, like one or two uses. So I'm going to go ahead and also add this to my everyday makeup drawers. Another little sample from Smashbox is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and then a good dupe that I found for it is the NYX Photo Loving Primer. I do like these both equally. I did get this in that point perk from Sephora, again, just so that I could test them side by side. I do like them equally, and I do like to take the smaller versions whenever I go traveling or whenever I need to do like an overnight or anything. So I will be holding on to both of these. This was a another point perk i believe from sephora that i got this is the becca first light priming filter i got two of these one with like an online order and then one i picked up in store i really don't like this primer i went through like a full or not a full size but i went through a this size sample of it and really ended up not liking it i've still had this one in my drawer for some reason as you can see it's still brand new hasn't even been opened so again i'm gonna pass this along to someone who is actually going to enjoy it this is a sample of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I have not tried this one out yet. I just got it. Well, I didn't just get it. I got it in the online order and I haven't really tested it out yet. So I do want to try this one out. This technically, I don't know if this is a primer or not. It's called the Bobbi Brown Extra Illuminating Moisture Balm. I haven't even opened it. Um, I'm probably not going to reach for it if I'm being really honest. So I'm just going to pass this along to someone who can actually get some use out of it. These are two of my favorite, favorite, like, pore filling primers ever. One is from Smashbox. It is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Pore Minimizing. The other one is from Revlon. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. I had this Smashbox one before I picked up the Revlon. The Revlon, it's drugstore, but it's more on the pricey end of drugstore. So I believe these two are about the same price. This one being around 10 to 15 and this one's around $15 because this one's a mini. Um, the only thing is that with this Smashbox one, you get 0.5 fluid ounces, whereas with the Revlon, you get 0.91 fluid ounces, so it's almost double the amount of product. I really don't think you need to get the Smashbox one if you have access to the Revlon. I would just never recommend buying this full price. Always get a coupon, always wait for a sale, because I do think 15 is a bit much for a drugstore primer, but it is a really good primer. So I am going to go ahead and finish this one up, but from here on out, I won't be reaching for this one after I finish it since I do have a good drugstore dupe for it. Where did the focus go? There's the focus. Also sidebar, the only really annoying thing about this found, or not foundation, about this primer is the cap. It's the most annoying thing in the world. It cracks, it gets dirty, it never stays on. So I'm just gonna get rid of the cap because I really don't like it. This is a fairly secure nozzle, so I feel comfortable leaving it like this in my drawer. Would I take this traveling with me like this? Probably not, but just for here in my vanity in my house, it should be fine because this is just really annoying. Two primers that I bought and actually still haven't tried out yet since I had so many primers in my drawer. One is from Milani. It is the Prime Shield Face Primer in Mattifying. And then I have the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. I've heard really good things about this Physician's Formula one and I really, really want to test it out. And I've not really heard or seen anyone talk about this Milani one. And since we're going into summer, I am looking for more mattifying products. So I am going to hold on to these until I test them out. The last one is a primer I just got. I actually bought the Too Faced Sex on the Peach kit, which came with the primer, one of the um, the setting sprays, a full size of the Peach Perfect powder, which I have right here. And I think it came, oh, and it also came with a Better Than Sex mascara, which I kind of decluttered that because I really don't like that mascara. But I have tried this primer out. It was very surprising to me how thick it was and also how cooling it actually felt. Like it's a really, really thick primer, which I really wasn't expecting. But when you put it on, it really does help blur and keep it matte and it feels really nice on the skin. So I am really liking this one. So I'm gonna hold on to it until I can finish it up. Ooh, we're looking so good. Look, everything's fitting in the drawer. So um, I am going to combine my um, eyeshadow primers with my regular primers just so that I have all my primers in one drawer. So we're going to go ahead and go through all of my eye primers next. Now, eyeshadow primer is something that I've 
kind of begun to hoard and that came when I first started doing makeup and I realized how important eye primer was. Like I used to go through, I bought like my very first Lorac palette a couple of years ago with some gift cards and it was the only eye primer that I had. And at the time I didn't really know if eye primers were available at the drugstore and now we know that they definitely are and they're good quality. But for me, I like at that time I thought the only good eye primers were higher end and I would like ration this stuff and I would try to save it for days where I really needed my eyeshadow to look good and like it was at the point where I really couldn't afford to go out and get another eye primer when I ran out. So I did my best to like ration it out and so it became at the point where like whenever I could get like a little sample of an eyeshadow primer or whenever I had the money and I saw it in the store, if I ever had a coupon, I would just get them. I got a crazy amount of eyeshadow primers to the point where I think this is only half of what I actually had. Realistically, now, I know I don't need this many. At the most, at the most, I need two. Um, I'm going to be keeping a couple of more just because, just because I do have so many. Um, but I know a couple of these, especially some of the smaller ones that I've never opened, I can definitely pass on to someone who's going to take really good care and use of them and you know enjoy them as much as I did when I really didn't have the money to go out and buy them. So those real quick are going to be these three. I have an Ulta Beauty tinted eyeshadow primer and then I have two of the mini Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potions in original. None of these have been opened. The Ulta one is still sealed. These I believe were point perks at Sephora like at the point like at the time Whenever I saw the opportunity to get a sample or a point perk of this, I would. Um, so these are going to get passed along to someone who could really, really use them. This Milani one I've actually had for a long time. I don't know, like I'm pretty sure it doesn't like go bad. No, I mean it still looks good. The consistently, the consistency still looks nice. Yeah, it, it doesn't smell off. It still blends in nice. So. I have had this for a long time. If you are just starting out, if you really don't want to spend that much money on an eyeshadow primer, I would definitely use the Milani one. I bought this months and months ago. I used to use it daily and I only got like halfway through it. So you're getting the most bang for your buck and you're still priming. Like I wish I could have gone back <laughs> and given myself this a while ago. Yeah, so this Lorac one is still fairly new. I think I've only used it once when I bought the last one I bought, I think I bought the Lorac Pro 3, like that really warm toned palette. And I've had this one since, since this is one of my favorite formulas for eyeshadow primer. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. And another great higher end formula for eyeshadow primer is of course the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm only going to keep two of these. I'm going to keep Eden just because this is a full size one that I bought when it was on sale and I had some coupons at Ulta. I'm going to hold on to this one. And then I'm just going to hold on to the open one of these two, which this is still like a sample size. It's not the full size, as you can see the difference with the Eden, which is a full size one. I'm going to hold on to one of these and then pass along this one to someone who could really use it. Okay, so I know this wasn't really roofless or anything, but everything now finally fits in one drawer with the exception of these little minis in the back, which I will be keeping in my everyday makeup drawer until I finish them. So these are all the things I am keeping, which now all fit, and then this is everything that I am decluttering. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out the rest of my declutter videos in the playlist down below, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!